the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everybody. I ended up uh, getting some stuff in the mail. First of all, I wanted to show you guys how I do... So I put the airbags on the truck. You guys know. You guys already know about that. The airbags got installed on the truck for towing. But I also wanted to show you how to how to install a airlift pump kit as well. In case you wanted to convert from manual over to uh, pneumatic. And... It's got gauge and the wires and everything in this kit. It's about $200 from Jegs. I said I wouldn't order because of my bad experience from them anymore. But I figured, why not give it a shot and order the kit. And there's a pump and there is a... Um, there's all the lines and stuff you need, all the electrical wires and stuff you need. All that stuff is in there, so... That's what we're going to be. That's what we're going to be hooking up, but I'm not exactly sure when it's going to be going on. Might be a little while. But I want to get that hooked up so I have control of the airbags from inside the cab of the truck and not have to go back there with a air uh, a blow, uh, air truck and blow it up manually. Oh, I got a headache right now. Let me get to the shop so I can show you what we have going on at the shop. I'm running a little behind this morning. There's no fresh broken glass out here today. So I guess they found out the neighbor the neighbor actually saw the kid, the neighbor that lives down here, a couple houses down. He was actually back here working, recharging somebody's AC, and he saw the kid busting the beer bottles out here. And he said then he came down there and started busting the beer bottles by his house. And he said, uh, he was like, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a black kid here in the neighborhood. He's got like a really big afro. He's like 18, 19 years old. He was out here just having a good time, just busting beer bottles all down the sidewalk. And I was, he was like, if you just watch out for him, you'll, you'll see who he is. He's the only younger kid around here that has this big giant afro like that. You can't, you can't miss it. He's super skinny and he was just... He said it looked, looked like he was just having a good old time, just busting beer bottles. He got done down there, and then he came down here and started doing it by my house. And I came out and yelled at him, cleaned up the glass and stuff, and he took off running. So he said, that's, that's the guy that's been doing it by the bit. Ah, uh, more freaking garbage. I want to see if they did graffiti on the front of the building here. After we painted it yesterday. Uh, bike's still here. Ah, uh, they did that. Right there. That's new. They bunched it. They did that. And broad daylight yesterday. This was right after the video, the third video I made of picking up all the trash up and down the street because they just constantly throw trash out here. More trash. The kids, they come from school and people going down the road, they just toss trash out the window and the kids coming from school just drop all the trash right on the sidewalk. They don't care. At least nobody graffitied the storefront. They left it alone, which I'm thankful for. And this is a buyer's guide on the sidewalk for a 2020 Ford Explorer. Stock number, vehicle identification number. Go figure, I wonder who owns this. Come pick up your trash, you fool. Looks like we got the Mercedes SUV done. It was a 
I got a video on it. Let me stitch the video into this. It was a Mercedes that kept coming up with an EVAP fuel tank pressure sensor code. And I shot a little bit of a video last night, like kind of showing what the problem was last night. I think it was like a 2012, 2013 ML 350 or something like that. Anyhow, I'll show you guys. This, we're having to swap over some of the plastic and stuff from this Honda engine. This engine here, even though all the camshafts and everything look good on this, and they're not warm, they look, you know, there's still this golden color in there. The customer kept up with his oil changes and stuff. There's metal, it looks like Ringland material down in the oil pan. So we gotta take, LKQ sent us the engine, and they sent us a lot of stuff that was really broken on that, that shouldn't have been broken. Somebody really didn't take their time in disassembling everything. Broke the valve cover on it and everything. So we're having to swap some of the stuff over. Cause that engine only has 39,000 miles on it. This one has 125,000 or something like 140,000. Anyway, um, this engine here, some of the stuff has to be swapped over. Let me stitch in that Mercedes thing, and then we'll go ahead and just call it quits at that point, and that'll be our morning video just to say good morning today. So, I hope you all have a blessed day. I hope you feel good, and if you don't feel good, you know how to make yourself feel good. Take care. I love you all. Here's the Mercedes video. Well... We got a 2012 Mercedes ML350 here, and it has a fuel tank pressure code. So this is what the mechanics found. A wire. Where was it at? Which connector was it? Right here? This one? Yeah. The fuel tank pressure sensor. Was that a new one you guys got? Oh, uh, out, upstairs we recycled. Oh, so you had another connector on another harness that we saved that you could use, so they cut it back. And then went from this where the the mice had chewed the wires at the close to the connection and there and the uh, codes that were present in the computer were a uh, p045128 p045300 p04500 and a u041608 so if you're looking at it right here And this all coming right from this. You know why? The customer don't ever drive the vehicle. He leaves it in the garage all the time, and the mice get up there and start to have a little fun. You can see the, the little rat poopies right over there. And the little rat poopies right there. So drive your car, people, or else this kind of stuff happens. And then you get charged $900 to fix it for a simple 20 cent connector.